totally doing it. I am smashing past my quotas. Um, my manager's already told me, as I shared with you guys, that I make a great AE, so I'm going after that right now. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm scared as hell, right? I am really nervous about it, right? But just like I was nervous about the SDR role, I'm here. I'm doing great at it. I have confidence that the same will happen for me in the AE role. Why? Because I'm going to bust my butt. I'm willing to work hard at it. And I'm not going to be afraid of being uncomfortable. <laughs> what's up guys tech job tina signing in signing in look today's episode is going to be about how an introvert like myself managed to get into tech sales and it's selling the role and how i really believe that any introvert can crush this job but before we get into that we're gonna do a little bit of a recap about my week week 18 working in tech sales let's go what's up guys tech job tina checking in it is the end of the work day on friday it's about 5 30 i am logging out for the day I had a record day today. Typically Fridays are like mad slow. I'd be lucky to get one demo usually on Fridays, right? But today, today your girl got nine demos on a Friday. That's unheard of. But I will tell you this, Monday was was strangely slow. Monday is typically my big day of the week. That's usually when I can usually put a 10 on the board. You know, worst case, eight, nine. I usually get a big number on the demos on Monday. But this Monday, I only got four. So I'm like, hey, okay, I guess my Monday decided they wanted to be a Friday. I don't know. But hey, I had a great week this week. I actually broke my personal best on how many demos I booked in the week. This week, I booked 36 demos. That is the most demos I have booked in a week so far. So this is where we are, man. Check out the Wheel of Fortune right there. Wheel of Fortune right there. And see your girl, that's the nine I got for the day, as you can see. And also, check this out. As we stand right now, I am number one on my team. Now, I know we got two more weeks left to go in the month, but I'm, I'm holding number one. And remember when I told you my, my homegirl who I used to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with every week, she's gone now. She moved to the AE team. So now... I got them running, y'all. I got them running. I am number one on the board, and I'm keeping them running. So here we go. Check, check this out right here. There you go. Let's slide to the right. Bam. I am in number one spot over here, right? Number one spot right now. So, yeah. That's it, man. I'm, I'm still the grinding, y'all. It's, 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 it's still on and popping for me, like I said before. So that's the end of the week. I hope y'all have a great weekend. Holla at you later. Peace. All right. So I get, like I said, lots of DMs with lots of different types of questions, career questions, random questions, just everything, right? And something that I also get because I have expressed the fact that I am indeed an introvert, I also get other introverts that ask me questions too because they're interested in tech sales. They see how lucrative the business is, but the thought of having to talk to strangers uh, on a regular basis makes them really, really nervous. And I get it because I was in that same boat. I'm going to tell you one thing about me. If I could get through life and not talk to people, I'd probably be totally okay with that, right? But that is not reasonable, right? You, it's impossible to get through life and not talk to anybody. I mean, you just can't do it, right? So for me, being someone that, you know, is an introvert, and don't get me wrong, you got different levels of uh, introversion. You got some people that are more extreme than others. You got some people that borderline... Um, uh, that borderline extrovert. Um, but me, for me, I am the type of introvert where I value my peace and quiet. I love my solo time is how I recharge. I am not somebody that likes to be in the streets every weekend. I am totally okay being in my house, 
chilling, watching my favorite shows, learning, reading, whatever. I don't have to be at some party every weekend, at some event every time, you know, something's going down. I just, I don't need all that. And plus it drains me too. And that doesn't mean that I never get out because I do, but I, if you catch me out, I'm probably out with one or two very close people. I value intimate relationships, like my closest friends, my closest family, me and my husband, stuff like that. I love that, right? But if you want me to go out to some concert, like there's like a thousand patrillion people at a concert, it's like, no, nah, I'm, I'm not feeling that. I'm not doing it. So that's pretty much my personality type. I'm very laid back. I like things simple. I like things quiet. And um, I'm not somebody that enjoys people that like to talk a lot. Like if I'm in a room full of people that are talking a million miles an hour, it wears me out. So not my thing, right? I'm probably pretty much your average introvert as far as that is concerned. So when I was considering going into tech sales, I was like questioning myself. And I was like, can I do this? You know, I... For years, I'd known people that have done different parts of sales, not necessarily software sales, but just sales in general. And um, even at my previous job, we had sales departments and our sales guys made good money. Um, they actually sold uh, construction materials and they made good money. I never saw myself as being a salesperson because I know how... I'm introverted. I'm very to myself. And I, I thought to myself, you got to be so outgoing. You have to be so extroverted in order to be able to do this job. And you know what I found out? That's not the case. You don't have to be extroverted. extroverted. You don't have to be super outgoing. You don't have to be super talkative. What I found is actually the opposite. If you want to be a good salesperson, you need to know how to listen. And if introverts don't do nothing else, we know how to listen. And why do we know how to listen? Because we spend less time talking, right? So when you don't talk as much, you end up hearing more. And that is definitely a strength that will help you in tech sales. I am a phenomenal listener. Um, a lot of my friends, family, people that come to me is like, man, Tina, I just talked to you because you listen very well. And I do. And that is a strength here because when you're talking to prospects, and they're telling you about their business. They're telling you about themselves. You're learning a lot about them just listening to them talk. And that actually helps you be able to sell that appointment. Or if you're an AE, close that deal. Because if you allow people to talk long enough, they'll tell you everything you need to know so that you can figure out how to attack the situation. Okay? Okay. And that's really helped me a lot. And another thing that introverts do really well, we may not like crowds, but we do really well in small settings, one-on-one -on -one settings, right? Majority of your phone calls, probably 98% of them is just going to be you and that prospect having a conversation. Every once in a while, somebody else might jump on the phone. Maybe it's their partner or a husband or a wife or somebody else that has some you know, decision-making uh, authority on the product that you're trying to sell, but most times it's just you and one other person. Introverts, we do really well with that, right? We, we can focus in on one person. It's not a lot going on. It keeps it really simple, and we're really good at one-on-one -on -one conversations. It's another strength for an introvert. And the whole talking to strangers thing, for me, I told myself, look, I never met a stranger. I, I, I could pretty much, if it's just me and you in a room, I don't have a problem striking up a conversation with you. And it's not even small talk. I don't like all talk, like useless talk. I actually will talk to people, talk to people. And I actually have grown to actually enjoy that. So for as far as the job goes, man, I, I, I must admit, I surprised myself because when I, six months ago, nine months ago, if somebody had told me, girl, you're going to be in tech sales and you're going to be good at it. I would have been like, yeah, right. My introvert itself, I was like, okay, whatever. But I've gotten into the role. I've been able to do it. And trust me, if I can do it as an introvert, any introvert can do this job, man. So your ability to listen, uh, your ability to to have valuable and, and, and strong conversations in one-on-one -on -one settings or small settings, um, your ability to, to think. We're very good thinkers. Well, a lot of times we're deep thinkers, right? Which is really good because it allows you to be able to analyze the situation, right? And another thing that I found is really strong about introverts. We are really good at, you know, sensing things, right? Uh, we have the ability to, 
to kind of like read the room a little bit better. Why? Because we're not so busy, like, you know, talking and doing all these things. We're Most times we're in the cut and we're observing, right? So that strengthens your ability to kind of read the room when you kind of just able to kind of step back and just watch everything, right? So those are skills you really need in this, man. You got to be able to read people, be able to kind of listen to people really good and be able to just, you know, have a conversation with them and, and understand where they're coming from and all of those things I believe introverts are very, very good at. So don't focus so much on the, the peopling aspect of it, but really lean into your strengths as an introvert because that's what you're going to need to really excel, excel in this role. Now, I'm not going to sit up and act like I don't have days where I'm anxious because I do. I do have days where I feel a little anxious. Sometimes I'll come in in the morning and it varies from day to day to day. Sometimes I'll come in in the morning and I just feel, I look at my cadence and I might have a whole bunch of people I got to call, right? And I'll, I'll start to feel this anxiety kind of creep up in me. And I just literally have to just punch anxiety in the face. I'm not trying to hear it. In moments like those where I just start, I start coaching myself. I'm like, now, Tina, you you in a high six-figure paying career now. You know, you got to make these calls. You make these calls. You get them You get them appointments. You know what that commission check going to be looking like. Like, I literally have to coach myself through it on some days, right? To overcome those times when I'm feeling, like, nervous, or when I'm feeling anxiety, um, I do different things to get myself in the right mind space to make my calls and be the person that I need to be to get that get this job done right. So things that kind of help me get through, I have a lo-fi mix, a little Afro lo-fi mix is really dope. I like to listen to that in the background, just low enough that where my callers can't hear it, but loud enough to where I can hear it as I'm working through the day. And that really helps me kind of stay focused. It keeps my, you know, keeps me in a good mind space. And another thing also, um, I, I joke with people that I've talked to about this that are also introverts. Over the years, I have learned to almost create an alter ego for myself, right? And that alter ego is like totally opposite of what I am. The alter ego is more outgoing. She's like a fear not type of person. She's like, whatever I got to do, right? And so I kind of have developed these mechanisms to where I can almost flip the switch and then my alter ego steps in and takes care of all the things that introverted Tina is too nervous or anxious to do, right? So it's been working for me. So I definitely recommend if you're an introverted person out there, hey, tap into your alter ego. And for the things that you're scared to do, hey, let the alter ego version you take over, man. So definitely has worked for me. I mean, will there be days where you'll be probably drained as an introvert? Probably. I, I have days where I've spent all day talking to people. Like I'll have a day, it's just a heavy call day. I have, I have meetings, I uh, have a manager one-on-one. -on -one. It's just a whole lot of peopling, right? And um, for the introvert, peopling is draining for us, right? Which is why we need to go into solitude and recharge just from all the people in because it does drain us. And I do still experience that. And the way I combat it is, man, I just, whatever I got to do to put myself in the right head space for those eight hours out of that working day, whether that's I'm listening to my music, got my music going in the background, it keeps me focused and centered. Um, I flip on my alter ego, let my alter ego handle them eight hours out of that day. But when that shift is over, man, I'm not going to lie to you. I have to go and just really uh, almost recalibrate for like two hours or so after my work day is done just to recharge and, and then the next day I can go back at it again right um, I do expect that the longer I'm in this game I'll just get better and better and better and the most important part about this is I love the fact that I am I'm uncomfortable I have days where I'm more uncomfortable than others and I, I love that because that tells me that growth is happening. So when you force yourself to be in uncomfortable situations, you will grow from it. So do not shy away from being uncomfortable. It is necessary to grow, right? And I'm in a stage in my life where growth is a big priority right now. So I am purposely putting myself in a lot of uncomfortable situations because in order for me to get where I have to go, I'm going to have to experience some some discomfort and that's just what it is for me personally so 
this is all part of it, man. Jumping into sales, uh, being an introvert, it's, it has its uncomfortable moments, but dude, the rewards that I get are worth it. So for my introverts out there that really are interested in getting into tech sales, you can do it. Believe me, you can totally do it. Will there be days where you might be a little nervous? Yeah. Will there be days where you might be a little anxious? Yeah. Will there be days where you might be a little scared? Yeah. But you'll be all right. It's all part of it. It's part of growing. Just embrace the discomfort. You'll get through it. You'll do just fine. And trust me, the rewards in this industry will outweigh all of that stuff you are feeling. You can totally do this job. You can totally be great at this job. So if you want to do tech sales, jump into it. You will be just fine. And after a while, those feelings of fear, those feelings of discomfort, those feelings of anxiety, those feelings of just, you know, being unsure of yourself, all of that stuff will start to fade away. The more you learn, the more you grow, and the more experience you get in this field. So stop delaying it, man. Just come on over here and just do it. You'll be fine. All right. And that's all to it. If you're an introvert, don't worry about it. You can do tech sales. You can make a boatload of money. Don't let nobody tell you any different. So that's all I got right now, man. Tech Job Tina, signing out. Peace.